Authentic high life music and the man behind it himself is of course a very proud son of Ghana, a very proud father for most of us of course in the industry as well, Mr. Henry Bessa Simons and he's popular for songs like Belim Be Awoyi and the list goes on and on. It might interest you to know that it's been 40 years since he decided to do music and he's still this relevant. That should tell you a lot about the music industry. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you Throw very Thursday much. Throwback Thursday with you. I feel like a, a, a child, you know, <laughs> when we have to talk about when music started for you, all yeah. the achievements so yeah. far, and still remaining relevant. But let's take it back. Let's start from the top. I know your father was the one who opened the doors for you yeah. um, when it came to music. Tell That's me how that happened. Well, I mean, um, <clears throat> When uh, I opened my eyes to, in a house, you know, I opened my eyes in a house with a lot of musical instruments yeah. there. People come and learn and they go. And so there was music ringing in my ears all the time. Mm. And uh, I really loved the piano because people will go and play the piano and after they left, I'll go and You're imitate going. them. Oh. And that's where it all started, you know. That's nice. um, but the good thing is that uh, my parents supported me. Mm -hmm. I mean, they realized this is what he wants to do, let him do it, you know. There were nobody trying to stop me, so it was an easy ride. Okay. Um, it was up to me whether I want to mm -hmm. do music or not, mm. you know. And I did, you know, uh, combine theory with practicals. Okay. And then I chose not to play in the church all the time, all right. but also to play in a band. Okay. So, you know, so I've moved with uh, most of the big guys, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, even at a very tender age, there was this band in Cape Coast that the Pelicans I was playing yeah. with. And these are big grown ups, mm. and I was about. 13 or so you know wow. playing with them but then i could score music so i used to write the music for the home place how did you le did you learn that on your own did your father teach no, you from home from home yeah from okay. home because okay. i i knew once you know the basic basics it's up to you to continue mm. because it's just different interpretations as you go along but your parents were very supportive of, of you oh, doing yes, music. i mean was it easier then than it is now because now when you say you want to do music your mother is looking at you like I'm taking you to school and you yeah. want to go and be a musician, you know? Well, I mean, it, it was very difficult for some people because yeah. I hear my friends saying, hey, if you go out to play in a band, your parents will beat you. Yeah. Mine was not like that, okay. you know? Um, and I mean, even when I went out to play in a band, my father called me back and said, you have to go to yeah. music at the National Academy of Music. Mm. At least get something, you know, in the okay. back. And after that, wherever you want. And it helped because... Okay. Uh, traveling out of Ghana, I could play with any musician. Of course. Because, I mean, you know, music is based on the first seven al alphabets. Did you know is that? Is it? No, this is the is first it? time I'm hearing this. That's the difference between a proper musician okay. and maybe a uh, journalist. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big well, gap. <laughs> just the first seven alphabets. Okay, so A, B, C, D, D E, F, F G. G. That's yeah. right. And then this, out of this, we get 12 notes out of it. Mm. and 12 keys okay so you learn all these things and then you can support yourself for the rest of your life you, okay. if you are not teaching mm. you are playing mm. if you are not playing you are writing okay. you know so that's how i have survived okay i play music i teach music i write music yeah yeah and then uh, i'm a consultant as well as well you know so, I like that you mentioned that you started playing the instruments at home. So when people left, that's when you jump on the piano and right. all of that. Yeah. Quite recently, I think it was just this week or last week, uh, Kujoenchi also mentioned something that if you're a musician and you can't play an instrument, then oh dear, you know, you're not a full-blown or proper musician. Do you it, believe that too? It is very important for every musician to learn at least how to play an instrument okay. or have the basics because what that, that does is it opens your mind. It gives you new ideas, mm. you know. Because I mean, like I, I was talking about the 12 notes and things. Yeah. They are all related. Yeah. But when you play the guitar or keyboard or anything, it tells you that, oh, I can do this over this chord. Mm. I can do this. I can do it this way. I can turn it around this way. Okay. I can do Apart from your only God-given talent. Yeah. You know, I think every musician should... Um, learn how to play an instrument because it will help them and i think um we also have to make it 
accessible and very easy for musicians to acquire instruments. And also to, to learn. attend music school yes. or go to music school. Yeah, or, or get so someone to teach you. You see, um, music is not cheap. You have to invest in yourself. Yeah. Get a little bit of education, you know, in your own way. There are so many self taught in Ghana. Do we have these kinds of music schools that, you know, can rub shoulders with all these international music schools? Well, you see, we have private um, schools okay. where you can go and enhance yourself. Mm. You know, I mean, I mean, uh, as I speak now, Musica has uh, um, every uh, month ending yeah. they organize classes. It's every free, month ending. Yeah, free of charge for, for musicians, musicians to go and enhance themselves. Are they aware of this? Yeah, most of them most are of aware, them. Okay. but I think we need to market it a bit more to get more people to go. And enhance themselves okay that's interesting i like that you mentioned musica because mm -hmm. uh right before you know the court injunction i know that you were <laughs> running for president you served as first vice president mm -hmm. um under a boss regime as well and there's something that you mentioned in your manifesto even though there's a hold on it now i'm sure yeah. eventually when the injunction is uh taken off you'll resume um you know campaign but there's something you mentioned and i want to touch on it uh just before we move on so it said that one musician, one instrument, and also the fact that you were looking at three things, uh, unity, accountability, and transparency. Unity, do we lack that in the music industry? Um, I, I think one thing that has bedeviled us is unity. Okay. You see, I mean, all I see, coming back to the country, all I see is people punching each other, you know, with things that we should be united mm. to push. You know, yeah. Be because we are not united, people will go back. You know, our bargaining power is even weak. Yeah. People will go back and will take something just to stop what we should all be fighting for. Yeah. And so I think if we can come together, we can do a, a, a good job for, for the industry. I mm. mean, for example, one of our main source of income is from Gamo. Yeah. And I think people sh should go to Gamo. Is their right? Mm -hmm. Ask them. What are you doing? Where have you reached? What needs to be done? Where are you heading to? Yeah. So that you know, and we should all support Gamu to make sure Gamu is working. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it hasn't worked for, especially Ghana, for a long time. Mm -hmm. When it comes to CMO, royalty collecting, it Never hasn't. Yeah. And hence, having most of our older musicians, you know, getting a bit you know getting broke at the end at of the end of the lives, day yeah you know but because when you are making hits and your music is being played out there that's where you make your break mm -hmm. you make big money and you should be set for life yeah but you know it didn't work like that you have to go and play and get small money so i think we should think about uniting we should be united and push for this one common goal make sure gamma works and make sure we fight for one common thing that is our royalties should be going up all the time mm. we should cover the whole country where everybody will pay when they use our music and also cross our borders to togo ivory coast anybody using our music they're sending money and this will boost the economy as well but that's a problem because a lot of musicians don't even believe in music in gamma because they feel like they don't fight for you know their rights and so it makes it difficult for them to want to associate with some of these, um, you know, unions. Um, not entirely, because, I mean, I think now everybody should join Musica. You think so? Yes, because, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, a, a musician. Yeah. I joined Musica to help yeah. put some serious structures in place, mm. you know. And I know I can get more people like me who can survive in music. And if I put the measures in place and I manage to convince them, which, you know, people will succeed in music. Yes, and also, uh, I think we should also push the high life music. Definitely. Yeah. Is it dying? Because that's our main 
Sorry. Is it dying? No, 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 no. Highlight music so. is, 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 is alive. We turn on our, our radio sets and all we hear is hip hop, hip life, you know, dance hall, and very little highlight. When you do highlight, they'll say, oh, you can only perform for older people. So you only be invited to these events that have older people. But if you want to reach out to the youth, then you have to do the hippie stuff, you know? <laughs> and so that seems to indicate that then maybe high life is for a certain generation and it might die with that generation. Mm, not anymore. Not anymore. I mean, that was just, uh, I think people were just saying, it. but high life will never die because when you go across our borders, people will ask you about high life. And also, I am very happy that some young musicians have taken on her life yeah and now everybody you watch our musician everybody is doing her life somewhere yeah because they know her life is coming back with a vengeance mm. and i like what the young guys are doing you know and like I, I i said i'm looking for a time where i can get the older musicians and the younger yeah. musicians together to interact we don't see. have that already no we, no, we haven't had that already, but it's, it's in the pipeline. Okay. You know, so they can interact and know how our older musicians did it. And they also learn from the young ones how they are doing it now. And through that, we can have some collaborations. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to have maybe Kidi and uh, Nana Kwame and Pedu do a collaboration? And in 10 years' time, yeah. we look at it and, I mean, look the history that yeah. that will bring. Yeah. You yeah. See? We need that, we need to, and also we need a lot of incentives. The corporate body should put their weight behind our life music. Definitely. Because people are asking for it. You are, you have been announced as judge for Mental Reloaded, and I'm looking forward to it. Tell me what you think, what should we expect as judge as well, especially well, <laughs> with the repertoire and the music industry. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it too, because Mentor has always groomed musicians for them to see a certain light that they never knew yeah. existed, you know. So they come out, whether you are a winner of the uh, show or not, you come out well refined. And if you are strong enough, you can go out there mm. to become a very popular musician. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, um, I'm also looking forward to bringing musicians out who can stand the test of time. Yeah. Musicians who will go out there and put Ghana on the map. Mm. That is what I'm looking for this Definitely, time. and I'm looking forward to that as well. <laughs> and so, thank you so much for joining me. What's your favorite yeah. song? My out favorite. of all your songs, not out of what we have now. You oh, out of all, all my songs. Which one would it be? Wow, I think, <laughs> I like Romantina Bazi, but you know, you don't have it. We don't have it then. I like Sinana too. Sinana too, okay. Uh, yeah. But you will just play Bele Me uh, just for having you on the show. But thank you so much for joining You're me. Welcome, we could have had a longer yeah. discussion, but yes. we'll have yeah. that later. Okay, yeah. thank you very much.